While math is super tough for some students, some of the students enjoy doing mathematics. And that is why some end up in a course called BSc Maths after grade 12. But what will you do after completing a BSc in Mathematics? Are you confused? If so, in this video, I am going to explain you about 5 courses that can be taken after BSc in Mathematics. My name is Srividya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. The first course that you can think about is data science. As you all know, data science is getting way popular. Even after completing a BSc in mathematics, you can pursue a post-graduation program in data science. It can either be a diploma program or a master degree program, that is an MSc in data science. Data science is where you create insightful data from a lot of information that is given. A little of interest in computers and mathematics will help you to climb up the career ladder in data science. The second course that you can look into is actuarial science. Until recent, it was not that popular, but I would say after pandemic, more and more people have come to know about this program. Even a few universities in India has started a BSc program in actuarial science. But here, I'm talking about a master degree program, that is MSc in actuarial science. After completing your BSc in mathematics, if you have little of interest towards finance and analyzing risk, this is something which you can look into. Even in the field of insurance and finance, you have a possibility of analyzing financial risk using mathematical and statistical methods. That is what exactly actuarial science is. The third program is the most common program, MBA. As you all know, the eligibility to get into MBA is any degree. And so, a degree in BSc Mathematics will also help you to get into an MBA program. As you have done mathematics for three years, while writing the entrance examinations for MBA, that will help you. And by that, there are high chances that you can get into the premium institutes in India like IIF. The fourth course that you can look into is statistics. Statistics was way popular since ages wherein data science has recently started. While talking about statistics, you may feel a little confused between data science and statistics because data science is also analyzing information using statistical methods and statistics is also Statistics, right? The term is so similar, which is confusing. Don't get confused. If you're more interested in computer related tabulation, then go ahead with your data science or data analytics. But if your interest is more on the mathematical side and statistical data, then you can go ahead with statistics. It is little different. The fifth course that you can look into is MCA, Masters in Computer Application. Not all universities in India will offer a seat for MCA after completing BSc Mathematics, but there are universities which will give you admission. After completing Mathematics, if you feel that computer is my field, I want to get into that thing, then this is the way. That is, after BSc Maths, you can get into MCA program. Hope the video has helped you in identifying five different courses that you can do after completing your bachelor's in mathematics. Good luck!